Good morning. Here on a Monday morning, uh, near the banks of the Thames actually, a small tributary to the Thames at near our home. I particularly want to read a psalm to you today, Psalm 20, uh, for people who went into lockdown um, already in some form of distress. Here is what the psalmist has to say uh, about his trust in God. A very interesting phrase towards the end of this psalm. It begins like this. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. And then as it goes on to finish, it says some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. O Lord, save. Answer us when we call. Well, that's Psalm 20. The psalmist is clearly in major distress. It's probably because he's surrounded by enemies of one kind or another, uh, maybe foreign enemies, enemies to do with people like King Saul pursuing him, uh, trouble in his life. And he cries out uh, to God to rescue him. Some of you may feel in just that state on this Monday morning. It feels like the lockdown goes on interminably and this week now starts and goes on and on and on. David was reminding us through this psalm that we ought to be not trusting in horses and chariots. What does that mean? It, it means that the might of a military machine, horses, very, very important uh, weapons of war in Old Testament times, rather than uh, foot soldiers, a horse drawing a chariot, uh, a bit like a tank in more modern warfare. So don't trust in that. That won't solve your distress. That won't rescue you, says the psalmist. What will rescue you is trust in the Lord. I've spoken um, over the weekend and indeed throughout this lockdown period to women and men who came into this period of confinement already anxious about their health, still awaiting test results, having uh, interrupted treatment for one condition or another. Now, anxious to know if it's progressing because uh, they can't get into um, the health service properly to, to find out or to continue the treatment. Or they've been recently bereaved and the loss of a dear loved one and the pain of bereavement and all the anguish that that brings has been exacerbated by lockdown. Because not only are they missing uh, um, a husband or a wife, friend perhaps, who they really cared about and who gave their lives meaning in some ways, now they're facing it in isolation, anguishing for a loss, and yet, who's around to put an arm around their shoulder or a hug or to hold their hand while they weep? How can you do the hugging and the hand-holding with social distance in view? It's impossible. And so on this day, on this Monday morning, facing this next week, uh, of these very difficult situations we find ourselves in around the world. May you know in your distress, particularly if it's acute today, the strength of the living God with his arms wrapped around you. God knows no social distancing. He can wrap his arms around you even in lockdown, and I pray that he will. And so as the psalmist cried to God in his distress and said, I'm not going to trust any kind of military machine, horses and chariots to get me out of trouble. You don't need to trust today, not in finance or money or, or even in good health, which you may not have. Even in the physical presence of others, which you may not have. All of those things may have let you down in your life at the moment. But now, today, put your trust in the name of the Lord and fail his arms wrapped around you with loving care today. May in this day not just today, but right now as you listen to this. May you know the comfort of a living God who cares for you more than any human being ever could. And may you know that glorious strength, that warmth of his presence today. In Jesus' name, amen.